last week you put out the release. How difficult was it to come to terms with that first of all? Yeah, um, it, I mean, it was extremely difficult, but I mean, uh, at the end of the day, it was something I knew was a possibility um, after everything that happened last year and then, um, you know, kind of getting re-injured in the uh, La Tech game, um, you know, going into it, you know, from that point forward, kind of knew it was a possibility if I couldn't stay healthy and specifically to, to another head injury, I knew it was a possibility, but to uh, actually have the conversations and, um, you know, have to kind of put it into words and, you um, Things like that, it was tough. You know, I knew, um, you know, one day the, the, the cleats were going to come off and the helmet was going to come off. But um, for it to happen like that and the way it did, it was just, you know, really heartbreaking for me. But um, luckily for me, I got, got a lot of great people in my corner that have, um, you know, kind of helped me through this. So um, just kind of going through the transition, you know, excited for what's next. Grayson, have you really educated yourself on concussions? I mean, the, you know, potential problems with CP, all the things that can happen with concussions? Look into that. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, like I said, what when it happened last year and, um, you know, obviously it was a pretty bad concussion and, um, you know, it was really eye opening for me. And so just kind of taking it as an educational opportunity to learn and, um, you know, continuing to learn as I'm going throughout this process. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I want to I want to have a, a full life. I want to get married and have kids one day and uh, I want to be a football coach and I want to be a great dad one day. So. Um, without a healthy brain, none of those things are possible. So, uh, um, you know, I love the game so much, but it, it's come down to, to things bigger than that. I understand what you were diagnosed with. And were you diagnosed with one after La Tech? And do you know how many you had in your career? Yeah, I think it, um, the one last year, um, I think it was four. So, looking at, you know, six or seven total. And, um, you know, I think every doctor kind of has their own opinion. But once you get, you know, kind of the four to five range, anything after that, it really isn't good, I think. What I've learned from this last one is that the more you continue to get, the chances of a full recovery, you know, um, decrease. So, um, yeah, I think it's been six now. Did you, I know obviously there is a transition period that you have to have, and that Doran said yesterday that, you know, you got to give you time. But with time being a factor and you wanted to be a coach, how quickly do you have to kind of make that, transition to getting to the mindset of learning and trying to learn everything you can from this staff and having that experience to be able to prepare yourself for a future to be a whether it's a high school coach a college coach whatever you want to be yeah I think it's you know rather a quick transition I think I'm um, obviously blessed to have a coach like coach Doran and um, coach Rover and a staff here that are kind uh, kind of uh, letting me get my feet wet now you know kind of serving that role now and uh, helping CJ and helping the other guys and um, sitting through coaches' meetings and things like that, just to you know, get my feet wet and see see how I like it. And um, so I'm obviously blessed with the opportunity to to be able to do that here and um, kind of get things started. So I'm excited to see where it goes. A follow up: What do you envision then? As I know, obviously this is all happening very quickly, but have you thought about it all? What the game plan is in a way? Like, hey, timetable. I want to maybe start out as a high school coach. I want to go straight as a grad assistant on a yeah. college staff. Yeah, I mean, I like to I like to start on the college level if possible. Um, obviously played for three different staffs and have a lot of connections throughout the country um, involved with college football. So um, hopefully I get the opportunity and, and I can make the best of it and um, we'll go from there. You hey. talked about your future and what you want that to look like, but that doesn't make the decision any easier. Um, what kind of emotions were you feeling as you were having those conversations? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the, the one positive I can take through this thing is uh, I don't have any regret, you know, throughout my, my whole college career. I've um, you know, I've laid it on the line every single game, every single play, um, obviously for the guys beside me, but just the love that I have for the game. And uh, I think that's one positive I can take from it that I don't have any regrets. Um, you know, other than that, just kind of a whirlwind of emotions, obviously um, upset and, and sad and going through all that. But, um, you know, kind of just disappointed with how my time went here, obviously um, didn't play to the best of my ability. And um, that kind of hurts. But, you know, I think at the end of the day, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. And, uh, you know, I believe that um, even going through this time will win. That's hard to, to believe and see through. Um, but um, at the end of the day, I, I am happy that I don't have any regrets as hard as all this is. And um, I know I'll get through it and there's there's a brighter side on the, the end of this. But um, just kind of going through all those emotions still right now. How important, how important has it been to have the space from the coaching staff and from the university to 
and such a quick quick transition, be able to make the space for you to make that decision and then uh, kind of help you along and see it getting started in your project career. Yeah, it's special. I think it just, you know, kind of complements the, the type of people we have in the building here. And, um, you know, I'm aware that it's not like that everywhere. So for them to, um, you know, keep me around and, um, you know, give me the ability to, to sit in on different things and um, kind of voice my opinion and help out. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's really important to me and I'm really grateful for it. So, um, obviously really thankful for, you know, just the opportunity to, to come here and be the quarterback and um, now just the opportunity that, that they're giving me to, you know, kind of start my coaching career and, and see where it goes. Coach, you mentioned you? that you, um, you know, with timing of everything, having the off week, having a chance to, to be with family, it sounded like. Um, how, how big was that just for what well, I imagine the roller coaster the past couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, it was huge. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm kind of going through this, but um, there's a lot of, of people um, that are also going through this. Obviously, um, this journey that I've had for so long now has been really special to my family and um, uh, kind of taken us places we never thought we'd go and, you know, kind of um, done things like that. So as it, hard as it, it, it is for me, it was, um, it was really helpful to go home and just be around family, be around loved ones, and um, just, just kind of have a reality check that there's so much more to life than football, you know, and um, being around it, you know, kind of 365 days a year for the past 20 years now, um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's going to be a hard adjustment. But um, being around those people that, that love me and care about me, and um, it's special. So I'm, I'm grateful that they let me go home to, to be around family for the week. But um, refresh, I'm, I'm glad to be back and help the team get another win this week. Football is a naturally violent sport. Do you feel like there should be changes based on your experiences, whether it's players should wear guardian caps or something needs to be changed about this? I don't know, man. I think, um, I think there needs to be, you know, kind of a, a more distinct targeting rule um, and things like that. But I mean, we signed up for it, right? Like every time you put the helmet on, you go out there and play, there's a, there's a chance you can get hurt. And um, I think that's what makes the sport so special. It's a, it's a violent sport. It's a tough sport. And um, if you're not tough, you can't play it. So um, it, it all starts with a mindset. And I've always had that mindset. And um, whenever the, the mindset wavers that, you know, you're scared to get hurt or, or you're hesitating out there, um, it all goes bad. So I think, you know, this is the game that we signed up to play. And um, if you're not tough, it's not for you. So How much does was, being in this role now help you kind of make this transition from not playing, still being around the team, still being, you know, as a captain? Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely helps. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's what I love to do. It's um, something I've always done. And, um, obviously, my role is changing as I'm not on the field, but um, being the same leader for the teammates, um, being you know the quarterback in the room that's um, played a lot of games and, and played a lot of snaps, and um, can kind of help those guys through it. So I think my leadership role and um, in that space doesn't change, but it's just kind of difficult for me to make the transition and it all happening so fast. Um, being out there at practice, I just want to pick the ball up and run around and throw it. So so I'm still. Um, fighting that but um you know i'll get through it but it'll just come with time does it help at all that this was so open you know people saw your family come down in the field they know the hit they've seen the replay did that help or did it complicate it because everyone understands what you went through yeah i mean i, I it maybe so i think um i don't know if it it makes it easier but i think there's a, a better understanding um that guys were able to, you know, see the see what I went through last year, and um, for it to kind of all happen again. I mean, it felt like just a big deja vu moment for me. Um, but I, I mean, I wouldn't say it makes it any easier. I think um, it just people have a better understanding of of why I'm making this decision and um, how scary it was. I mean, it was really scary for me, but you know, all my teammates and everybody that were right there and saw it happen, I was pretty scared for them. So, um, I mean. For guys to see that happen and to have the courage to strap it back up and go out there the next plays, I mean, it says a lot about the game. It says a lot about the, the guys we have here. So, um, yeah, I'll just kind of leave it at that. I don't think it made it any easier, but I do think it uh, allowed people to have a better understanding of what happened. You walk us through that process guys. from October 5th when you go to the hospital to when you have to make that decision or at least make it public. What were those conversations like? When did you have them? When did you sort of make that decision? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said earlier, I mean, I was, I was fully aware of that being a possibility um, when everything happened. And, um, you know, I kind of knew, I mean, whenever I woke up in the ambulance and they took me to the hospital, I, you know, you know, opened my eyes and my mom was right beside me. And 
um, you know, we kind of just both looked at each other at the same time and said, that's it. You know, I can't, um, as much as I love this game and, and everything it's done for me, I can't, um, can't put myself through that again. I just can't uh, mentally. And um, like I talked about my health earlier and my family and all the things I want to do in the future, it's just, um, it's not worth it at the end of the day. So, um, you know, whenever I woke up and, and came to the conclusion that was probably it, it just kind of had to build up the courage to, to have those conversations and ultimately, you know, write something up and um, make it public. But, I mean, I, I kind of knew that, that it was a reality that that could happen. We've heard from Coach Doran, even all season really, that this guy's going to make a great coach when his playing days are over. Even, even though, even with the way it, the way it happened, playing for a little, a little over a little bit sooner, what does it mean to have that vote of confidence from him that you have a bright right? future in football even as coach as well yeah it, it's special i really appreciate coach Dorn and all he's done for me here and um you know to have such a prestigious coach like that um say you know positive words like that for me going into a new role is is um special but i think if you just you know you watch how i play the game and um the passion i have and um you know the the want to to help people i think um you can make those assumptions but yeah it means a lot and i'm you know obviously really thankful for coach Dorn.